So we have an example. In order to estimate using use case points. So the project or the problem, the software we have to make is a software package to be developed for computer aided design application for mechanical components. So this software package, a scope has been written. The scope has been properly defined, refined. And finally, from the scope, we found out the functions. So this is the basic formula for the use case point computation. So all these four we are going to compute one by one. Before that, we need to know how many functions are there, major functions in this project. So as I said, we'll write the scope and then we will try to bound these sentences or narrations. Then we'll try to find out the functions from there and major function. And then we'll start our use case point computation. So let me tell you or let us assume that these all CAD software functions we have found out because in CAD we have to do two D two dimensional geometric analysis, three dimensional geometric analysis like this. For example, we have to do the peripheral control functions. So all these have been defined. Now this particular example, certain values are already given. I, I just say that this can be categorized. The example CAD software has three subsystem groups. First is user interface subsystem. It has UICF engineering subsystem group. It has this 2D GA, uh, 3D GA, DAM, which is the design analysis module. Don't go into the detail. Okay. I'm just giving you numbers right now. I'm just explaining how to get these numbers. And in infrastructure subsystem group, you have CGDF and PCF. That is computer graphic display facility. And you have peripheral control function. Now the numbers of all these I'm giving you. Okay. So the computation starts from here. Just assume that we know the software, we know the values now. So we have defined the use case now. So 16 complex use cases describe the user interface subsystem, the first one. These are 16 complex. Okay. So the first one, I am talking about the, this, this box. So complex. The engineering uh, subsystem group is, is, this is described by 14 average use cases and eight simple use cases. I am all talking only about use cases here. So we have 14 average, 16 uh, complex and eight simple use cases. The last one infrastructure subsystem group, it has 10 simple use cases. So either you combine this, make it 18 or you can do it uh, separately also. A good idea is to combine them 10 and 8, 18. We have done the uh, use case part. Now let us come to the actor part. Now we assume that we have eight simple actors. So now this is this box is for eight actors. Eight simple actors. We have 12 average actors and four complex actors. Okay. Now how do we compute? What will be the final value of UUCW and UAW? Let us see. We multiply with the weighting factor or weight factor and then we add. 8 into 1, 12 into 2 and 4 into 3. Then we add. Okay. So first one value will be UUCW, second value will be UAW. You'll just see how we do it. Let me show it here. You just see the final equation. Now, as I said, how, how much values were there? We just discussed. So the complex were 16 use cases. 16 use cases were there. So 15 is already the weight. So multiply. Now, not, we have to write at NCUC 16. In place of NAUC, that is the average complexity use cases is 14. And as I said, we have already 18, 8 plus 10, 18. You can use like that or you can make it 18 or you can use 8 use cases and then 10 use cases. Ultimately, you have to multiply it with 5. So 5 into 18 will be this value. And from here and here, it will come 10 into 14. You write here 15 into 16. You write here. So we have already done the computation 16 into 15 plus 14 into 10 plus 18 into 5 or you can do 8 into 5 plus 10 into 5. Finally, a 470 will come. UUCW is 470. 470. I'm not doing the whole calculation. Uh, UAW, how to find out the UAW? See, UUCW already found out and adjusted use case weight. Now we are going to the actors. Okay, how many actors were there? 8 simple actors. 12 uh, average actors and two complex actors. 
Now multiply them. 8 into 1 is 8. 12 into 2 is 24. 3 into 3 is 9. Just add them. You'll get 44. We already computed it, so I'm just writing it. 44. Now coming to TCF and ECF. I'm just writing the numbers also. Now TCF we have to find out. TCF, these are T1 to T13. These are what? These are technical factor. Now, T1 to T13. These are the names. Now the weight is already fixed. This is already known. You, you are not going to change it. But you have to, depending upon your project, you have to give a value from 0 to 5 in this column. For example, randomly I am giving some value. You have to give a value from 0 to 5. It has only to be between 0 to 5. So 5, 2, 3, 2, 1. Like depending upon your project, you have to spend time on this. Now multiply this. 2 into 1, 2, 1 into 2, 2. Like this, every two values you have to multiply. Then finally what you get this in this column, you have to add. Add all of these in this column. So you will get T factor. Total technical factor. This is not TCF. You get a T factor. For TCF, there is an expression. What is the expression? 0 0.6 plus 0 0.01 into T factor. So you have given the value here from 0 to 5, you got the last column, you added the last column, that is going to be T factor. And put it here in this formula. When you put this, you will put value in this formula, you will get a TCF. I will just tell you what the TCF value will be. Before that, let me go to ECF. ECF is for environmental factor. So these are F1 to F8. This are description is like you want to uh, value something for motivation. So you have to give value from 0 to 5. These weights which are given from 1.5 to minus 1.0, these are fixed. These are fixed. You don't change it. Now, you have to give the rated value from 0 to 5. For example, motivation is there. You get a 3 value. You multiply 3 into 1, you will get 3 in the last column. Same way. So, 1.5 into 1, what do you get? 1.5 here in the last column. 0.5 into 0, you get a 0. So, you have to do for each of them. I hope you will be able to do and just write every value and add them. That is going to be a E factor. I am not saying it is ECF. It is E factor. Again, we have an expression for ECF. ECF is 1.4 plus minus 0 0.03 into E factor. Now put this E factor here. So I am just saying that we have already done the computation. You have given the value, rated value. Let us say that the TCF comes to be 1.04. ECF comes to be 0 0.96. Okay. You got the T factor. Put it here. You will get, get the TCF. You get the E factor, put it here, you will get the ECF. You may give any number from 0 to 5 in, in all the, the columns I, I said. So the, the values may change. I have given these values, so I get 1.04 and 0 0.96. So now what are, what are values you have? See, UUCW is 470, UAW is 44, TCF is 1.04 and ECF is 0.96. Okay. Now, after evaluation of technology and environment, we have just seen, we have got the TCF and ECF. And now we are ready for the final expression. 470, 44, 1.04 and 0.96. 513 will come. Now, 513 is our final value, the use case points. Now, what is the significance of this 513? What to do with this 513? This is all the, all of the flow chart I have shown. So, for example, the using the past project data, the development group has produced 85 line of code per UCP. That is, for one UCP, UCP, each UCP, there will be 85 line of codes will be written. So, we have 513 here. And the overall, overall size of the project we just saw is what will be there. 85 is LOC per UCP. Multiply it with 513 UCP. Multiply 513. You got the use case points. Multiply it with uh, the 85 LOC per UCP, you will get 43,605. Let us take it as 43,600. Now, similar computation can be made for applied effort or project duration. Say we have 620 LOC uh, per, per month as the average productivity for system of this type. And there is a labor rate of 8,000 per month. This is also given to us with our past experience and past project projects, cost and the present cost. So, what will be the cost per line of code? What will come? See, we already know, we already done that. So, we have this 8000 is the cost. Take this, divide it with the 620, this 620 LLC per month. So, you get 13. So, this will be the 
cost of per line of code. Now, based on the user estimate, use case estimate and the historical productivity data, the total projected cost will be what? 13 is the cost per line of code. And uh, we have 43,600 lines. So, multiply this. 14, 13 into 43600. What do you get? 566800. Now, we have the historical data also. So, you can just combine them and average them. So, you will get 552000. If you even if you want to keep 566800, it's good. It's good. It's similar to that value only. The difference is not that much. Now, effort also you have to find out. The estimated effort will be what? See, there are values we have already found out. So we find out the person month. So you have the line of code 43600. You have 620 LOC per month. Divide them. What do you get? 70 person month. This is the use of UCP. How do you find out the estimation, the cost, effort and duration of a project?